Hello everybody, this is our new window farm. This is the second one we've built now. We had to take down our old one because we moved locations. Got the idea from windowfarm.org, which is a great online community that has uh, instructions on how to build these guys and also I think kits you can buy. Now we got a uh, we got 10 plants here, all growing in a soilless medium. They grow in these little clay pots with um, yeah, little clay pellets there. They're fed by a reservoir that contains kind of a, a water uh, nutrition solution. This air pump right there pushes little beads of water up those two uh, tubes to the top where the water then trickles down from plant to plant feeding everybody and you'll see a couple of differences between this one and our last uh, window farm we kind of changed the way the structure is built on this so now that they're hanging from little S hooks on a chain which means you can change the height of the, the cups according to the plant. This tomato plant is getting kind of big there so I think I'm going to end up moving that Thai pepper up a little bit so it's nice to have that flexibility. Also our reservoir is a lot bigger. The larger the reservoir the taller it is it gives it more water pressure on those little droplets so you get some really nice little even drops that just flow everything's on a timer so it runs for about 15 minutes out of the hour whisper quiet so you never even realize it's on except for maybe a little drip sound in the background the tubes are clear as you can see and uh... that's because that's the only tubes they had at the home depot so I'll probably end up painting those. Um, what happens is you get a lot of algae buildup in those tubes just because they have the light going through them. So I'll paint those to, to uh, keep it from getting clogged up. So far we have some uh, different kinds of peppers down below. I have tomatoes. First time for that. See how those go. Uh, I got thyme, more peppers, Thai peppers, basil, mint, uh, nasturtiums and more tomatoes up top. Now if you're not much of a green thumb and you're starting this out for the first time, um, I recommend mint and basil because you cannot do anything wrong with them. They're like a weed in the window farm. You have to cut them back daily otherwise they completely take over your whole system. So it's a it's a no-fail way to grow a plant in a window farm. You'll also see we did a the drips are here with some bendy straws. And the reason I use the bendy straws is as the plants grow you can kind of move the drip around to where you want. It's working really well. Some plants like to have the drip right on the plant, others want just around it. So depending on your plant you can actually change the location of the drip, which is ingenious. <laughs> Alright, I'll put another video up later when I'm, you know, harvesting tomatoes. Hope you like it. Leave a comment below and uh, check out that windowfarms.org.